Hey, it's Ryan from Upfit Supply, and I'm in the back of our 2016 Ford Transit Connect long wheelbase, 121 inch wheelbase, and we're about to give it an upfit, but before we do, I thought I'd give some measurements to help you with your upfit. So one of the most important measurements here is gonna be the overall cargo length, and I'm gonna go uh, here in the center of the cargo area just to where the edge of that floor meets the cab area to the beginning of this threshold. We're at 79 inches or six foot and seven inches. Um, now this threshold here uh, is available space in the cargo area. Once this door shuts, it essentially sits flush with this rubber gasket for the door and you essentially get this full uh, length of this uh, threshold here if you want to use it. Now there are some factory tie, tie down points as well as your, uh, uh, you know, I think this drops down the, uh, the spare tire underneath the van. So, you know, take that into account as well, but you could gain, you know, potentially an additional six to seven inches if you wanted to, to make use of this space. Now the width here at the door opening at the bottom, we're looking at 50 inches. You do lose about an inch once you go out to this rubber gasket. We're about 49 inches. Um, the height here at the rear door, if I go from this threshold to the door frame, we're about 45 and a quarter inch um, that you're gonna have available to you. You know, maybe three quarters of an inch if you wiggle it around. Um, the width here at, you know, Kind of about uh, one third of the way through the door, about 50 inches right here. Towards the top, we are at um, about 46 and a half inches. So it does get a little bit narrower towards the top of this door. Now if we step back here to the wheel wells, distance between the wheel wells is a common measurement that people like to take. Um, we're about 48 inches or a solid four feet in between the wheel wells. The nice thing about the Transit Connect is the wheel wells don't actually protrude out very far. Uh, into the cargo area, so that's good. But we do have these black uh, factory uh, pieces here that you know you could technically take these out and gain you know probably another three to four inches if you wanted to. There just may be some wiring or other electronics behind here. But the distance in between these two black panels gonna be about 50, 50 and a half inches. Once you clear these panels and get into the window area, the width is going to be. About 64 inches here. Now the height at the wheel well, you know, this is commonly where we're gonna put a shelf. Uh, you know, you're looking 48 inches if you're lucky, so you're gonna want a shorter shelving unit. Uh, same over here. Um, you know, if we go center measurement in between the wheel well to the top of the ceiling, we're a little under 50 inches. Um, so there is a slope obviously in the roof. If we come back a little bit further, there is one cross member here in the ceiling. Uh, that you have to take into account. Uh, otherwise, we have the rear door jam um, or door frame back there. And then, you know, this, you're not gonna have to worry about um, in the cab area, but the, the maximum height that you have available here at the center, about 48 inches or four feet. Now our distance, we've got a dual sliding door model. Uh, the available floor space, you know, in between these two thresholds, I'm just measuring really from the lip of the threshold to the lip of the threshold. We are at 40 inches. Now, if we go door to door, you know, I'm touching the side of the door here, all the way to this side of the door here, we're at five feet or 60 inches. So you do have some available space there. If I take another roof height measurement here, kind of directly in between these two doors to the top, we're at 50 inches, a little under 50 inches. So those are gonna be your main measurements that you're gonna need for a Transit Connect. Let me just open this door here real quick if you're trying to figure out if you can fit in tools or equipment. Um, if I go to the lower step, to essentially the top of that gasket, we're about four feet. So, you know, you could potentially get something four foot tall through here. You'd have to angle it in um, to get it in. And then our width at the lower part of this door, um, we are at 34 inches. At the upper part, we're about 39 inches. But again, you're, you're going to deal with the sliding door here um, on the side. So those are all going to be the, the main measurements that you're going to need for your Transit Connect. You can actually go to our website, upfitsupply.com, and download a full measurement guide, take a picture of it. Um, we actually have a PDF that you can use as a table on it to help you plan your upfit. So again, my name is Ryan from Upfit Supply, and have a good one.